Hello YouTube. I know I'm a couple minutes early, but I want to make sure everything is set up before we get going. Um, which also means now I have to set up Facebook. So hold on. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm here to do ballet two to four. I'm super excited. I know I'm a couple of minutes early. I'm going to give people some time to log in and find us. Um, while we're waiting, though, make sure that you've got your space set up, um, that you've got something good on your feet you can use. I think ideally, ideally, you'll get your ballet shoes out um, and be on some type of hardwood floor or tile floor um, where you can slide in those ballet shoes. Um, but obviously carpet is fine, socks are fine, bare feet is fine. Uh, as you can see, I've got carpet and I'll be dancing in socks um, and I can slide pretty well in that. Uh, so it's definitely doable. Um, make sure you've got some space. Um, uh, I don't have much space, so I will not be assuming that you have much space, but do try to make sure you've got as much space as you can get. Um, and something to use as a bar. We will be doing a full bar. Um, so as you can see, I have my dining room chair set up to be used as my bar. Um, so a chair works great. A kitchen counter works great. A table works great. A bookshelf, a wall, uh, something you can hold on to. Uh, so you don't have to do bar without a bar. <laughs> um, so making sure you've got space, you've got a bar to hold on to, um, and that you can slide your feet as well as you can. So we can do those tendus correctly, right? We don't want to be lifting our hip and our tendus. We want to make sure that we're sliding the bottom of our foot to fully articulate it as much as we can to make sure we're not practicing things the wrong way. It's not good for muscle memory. So <laughs> make sure you've got space um, and floor and shoes and a bar so that you can be working as close to the correct way as possible to make sure all of our muscle memory is working right. Um, I've got about one more minute. I'm gonna go ahead and wait that minute just in case. I wanna make sure we can get as many people here as we can. Um, I see that Finley's here. Hi, Finley. Awesome. Let me know if you're here. I like to hear. <laughs> um, yeah, and then also definitely let me know, make sure that you can see me and that you can hear me. Um, I've tried to set up my space so you can see me as well as you can with my mirrors and such. Um, so keep me posted if something goes wrong. You can't hear me or can't see me for whatever reason. And moving forward, I definitely want the feedback so I can make sure I can set up my space to work best for you guys. Your core is awake and your feet are awake, all that good stuff. Uh, making sure you've got the space and something to use as a bar. Um, awesome. I've got more people joining in. Hey, LG and Ashlyn. Hi, Michelle. Awesome. Be careful in point shoes, though, please. <laughs> please don't fall. Make sure you're holding on to something. <laughs> But excellent idea for some of my advanced people to take a lower level class on point to keep those point shoes going. Um, but awesome. Cool. We'll start with our reverence. So first position, two hands down. I'm going to stand up and face my back to you so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Stepping to the right. Step. Toe behind, curtsy, tendu, close. Other way, step. Curtsy, tendu, close. Fabulous. We'll start with our plies. Left hand on the bar, starting in first position. Um, we'll take our two demi plies and one grand plie. We're going to do a port-a-bra. Um, and I know all of you have done a port-a-bra with me. 
our left front. The goal being to make a nice flat back at exactly a 90 degree level, um, 90 degree angle with a nice flat lower back. My advanced dancers can of course, quarter bra all the way down. Then we'll come back up, keeping that spine straight, releve and lower, and then we'll tendu to second. Same thing in second. We'll take our two dummy plies, one grand plie all the way down, and we're gonna quarter bra side into the bar. So you're gonna come up to fifth, looking over your shoulder. You're gonna try and go up and over your shoulder shelf, up and over your corset, bending to the side, keeping your hips equal, and weight on both feet, standing tall, arm opens to second. We'll take a releve and lower, and then we'll taunt you and cross into third or fifth, wherever your turnout can handle today. Two demi plies, one grand plie all the way down, one we'll quarter back. So this hand will come from first to fifth, head over your outside shoulder, we'll go up and back. Again, try and go over your shoulder shelf, up and over your corset, not down into your waist. So make sure you're holding onto your abs and just going up and back just a little bit, opening up your chest. Standing tall, arm opens to second, and we'll take a releve to season. And we'll balance, hands in either first or fifth. We'll come back down to third or fifth, and tondu back to first to finish the end. I'll then stop the music and we'll do the other side. I'll do it with you, like I just was, standing at my bar. Um, so hopefully you can see me from the back and also in the mirror a little bit from the front. Um, but left hand on the bar, first position, right hand in sixth. Standing tall, get your turn out engaged. Be rotating those thighs. Feel the ball and socket joint rotating already, ready to go into that plie. Here we go. Bear arm first to second and plie. Switch and plie. Grand plie. Quarter bra front, seeing if you can find that nice flat back, giving your legs straight, weight in the balls of your feet. Standing tall, press releve. And lower, tom do to second. Same thing in second. Plie. Are your feet flat on the floor? Make sure those pinky toes are down so you're not rolling. And your knees are opening wide to the side. Your shoulders are stacked right on top of your hips, tailbone down. Arm up to the fifth, up inside, toward the bar. Standing tall, arm to second, press releve. And lower, time to cross to third or fifth. And plie. Stretch, really opening those knees. Tailbone straight down, hips even, drawn plie. Heels down, then straighten. Arm through first to fifth to go up and back. Releve to susu. You find your balance hands off the bar in either first or fifth. Keeping your ankles lifted and squeezing. Knees lifted and squeezing. Thighs lifted and squeezing. Belly button zipped up. Tailbone down. Shoulders down and back. Chest open. Chin lifted. And lower with straight knees. And tom you back to first. To finish. Fabulous dancers. We'll go to the other side, which means I'm gonna switch bars. You should be able to see my feet in the other mirror if you need them. Here we go. Right hand on the bar. Arms through first. Second. And feet. Stretch. Leo. You rotating those thigh bones, tailbone straight down, shoulders stacked, thighs rotating. Quarter bra front, find that nice fat back. And then standing up, press round back. And lower, tend to second. Same thing in second. Plie. Feet nice and flat, knees nice and open. Feeling your back, your belly, and your butt with each plie. Your quarter bra side, arm comes up to fifth, up and over that corset into the bar. Standing tall, arm open second, pressing relevant. And lower, tendu cross to third or fifth. 
and pie. Front plie, make sure you find your demi plie, then lower, then heels down, demi plie, and then straighten. Arm plie first with it, up and back. Relve sissy, arms in either first or fifth, and finding your balance. Making sure your shoulder blades are back and down. Turn on the front of your chest is open, chin lifting, belly button zipped up, tailbone down, legs rotating, the back belly and butt, and we'll lower with straight knees, tongue you back to first, to finish. Fabulous. All right, we're going to move on to some tondus. So options, you're welcome to do it from first or from fifth. Um, when I'm demonstrating, I'm going to do it from fifth, just because that's the more complicated one. And so therefore, I figured it'd be easier for, to follow that. Um, but you're welcome to do it from first. And again, option, you may either put your hand on your hip or in second, um, whatever you're more comfortable with. Again, the goal is to keep up your technique. Um, so be working where you're comfortable. Tondus. Uh, we'll do two slow. So two tondus to the front and then four faster. Same thing side. Two tondus to the side and four faster. Two tondus to the back and four faster. To the side will be a little different. We'll do just one slow. And then one, a second tondu that will lower to second with straight knees, pushing back to tondu. Again, lower to second, but this time with a plie, pushing all the way back to tondu and then closing back. We're then going to reverse the whole thing. So two slow tondus and four quick, seven, eight to the side. First one doesn't change and then change and four quick, do, 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 and two tondus to the front and four quick, do, 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 and one side, second one lowers tondu to plie and tondu close front. We're gonna stop there. I'll start the music over and then we'll do the other side. So two quick, two slow, four quick, front side back. Side is one slow, the second one lowers, then plies. Then we reverse the whole thing. Here we got left hand on the bar, first or fifth position. Ready either hand on your hip or in sixth, ready to prep. Here we go. Prepare seven, eight, tondu, front, seven, eight, tondu, front, seven, eight, tondu, front, close, front, close, front, close, front, close, front, close, to the side, don't change. One slow, one lowers, one plies, tondu and reverse, going back, two slow, four quick, to the side, two slow, four quick, to the front, two slow, four quick, to the side is different, one slow, one lowers, one to plie, tendu, close in front, and finish. Good, things are shaking out. We'll do the other side. Right hand on the bar, first or fifth position, ready to use your left foot. Here we go. Tendu, front, close, front, four, quick, one, two, three, four, to the side. Are you finding a full first or fifth every time? Heels down and your thighs together. Maintaining your turnout, staying square with your hips and shoulders. Side, side, lowers, then it plies and reverse. Going back, keeping those hips and shoulders square as you go back. And open that hip. And side, using your turnout, finding your tondu side each time. And front. One side, second one, lower second, tondu plie second, tondu close front, and finish. Cool, good dances. We'll move on to some decages. Again, same options. You can either do it from first or from third or fifth. 
whatever you're more comfortable with. And again, I will be demonstrating from third to fifth because that's harder. Um, Degage, we'll take one slow out in. Second degage will pique, out to pique, close. Then three quick degages and five and six and closing to plie seven, eight. Same thing to the side. One slow, one to pique, close and a three. Quick to plie and a back one slow, one to pique, close and a three. Quick to plie. Side again is just a little different. One slow, one to pique like before. But then this time instead of the three quick, we're gonna come to a coupe wrap, extend to degage, tendu and close back. So then reverse the whole thing. Let me demonstrate a little more with the reverse. So we go one, slow, one to peak, gate, close, and three, quick, two, plie. Then side, one, slow, one to peak, gate, close, and all these will change to plie. To the front, one, slow, one to peak, gate, close, and a three, quick, two, plie. Side again with the one, slow, one to peak, gate. Then coupe wrap, extend, tendu, and close. And then again, we'll take a little break and do the other side. Cool, so it's one slow, one with a pique, three quick, and a plie. You repeat that pattern front side back. You do the one slow and the one with the pique to the side. And instead of the three quick, we do that broken down pas de cheval, coupe, extend, tendu, and close. We then reverse. Left hand on the bar, first or fifth position. Standing tall and strong. Here we go. Big shake out, and a prick, and a three. Quick, two, plie. We go side. And a pique, and a three, quick to plie, to the back, out, and a pique, and a three, quick to plie, side, pique, now we polish the ball, coupe, extend, tendu, reverse, back, and a pique, and a three, quick to plie. Are you getting all the way to 45 degrees? Are you not going higher than 45 degrees? Front, stay sharp and strong. Quick to a plie, side again, one. And a peeking, now we polish it all, coupe. Extend, but here we go. Big J out, out to peek. And a three, quick to plie. We go side, and a peek. And a three, quick to plie. And a back, and a peek. Your hips and shoulders square. Side again. And a pique, then we come coupe, descend, tendu, reverse, back, and a pique, three, quick, two, plie, side, one, slip, and a pique, three, quick, two, plie, to the front, Are your legs straight, feet pointed, side, and a pique, coupe, extend, tendu, and reverse. Awesome. We'll move on to our round de jump. We're going to use our basic pattern like we've been doing in class. So we're going from first. I'll tell you back on eight. We take one half round de jump, front side and close. Then the other half side back and close. And put it together front side back. Again, front side back. We go faster four times one and two and three and four. Then we go off the ground at least 45 degrees. If you're comfortable going higher and doing it correctly, you can go higher. Front, carry side, carry back. Brushing to tendu front to reverse. One half, other half, two, full, slow, four, full, quick, and one off the ground to tendu back. We then lift our desk. We hold in balance for about eight counts. If you'd like to press up to relevant, you may. Please be careful. We'll control to a lovely tendu. Brush tendu front, close crossed into either third or fifth. We're then going to take those porta bras again. Yeah? So from fifth. Quarter bra front, find that flat back, or my advanced dancers may go all the way over. Standing tall, arm comes to fifth right away, we'll go up and back. As you straighten, arm opens to second. We then go up and side into the bar. Straighten, arm comes to second. Then we'll come to passe to balance. You are welcome to come to susu first, or you may stay on flat, whatever you're more comfortable with, but we'll all come through coupe to passe front and find our balance there. We'll slide through coupe to cross, and then lower to finish. So again, it's one half, other half, two full slow, four full quick, one off the ground. Reverse, half, half, two full slow, four full quick, one off the ground. Arabesque balance, close front, port of our front back side, passe balance. Here we go, first position, left hand on the bar. Standing tall, you feeling your turn out? Feeling your pinky toes on the ground, your backs, your bellies, and your butts. 
and super elongated through that spine. Here we go. Seven. Conjure back eight. We take a half. Right. Seven. Close. Other half. Full circle front. Side back. Again front. Side back. Faster one. And two. And three. And four. Now off the ground front. Find that side. Then back. Conjure front head smile. Reversing back, side, Oops. other half, side, front, Oops. full circle, front, side, back, woo, that is back, side, front, faster, one, and two, and three, and four, off the ground, back, rotate, find that side, and bring that heel around to the front, time to back, lift, arrows. See if you can balance and first our best. Long legs, pointed feet, spine long. Fingers soft. Control to tondu. Brush tondu front. Close cross corded bra front. On that 90 degree flat back. Arm back up to fifth, up and side. Up and over that corset. Cross susu if you'd like. Point kupe. Point passe. I'm going to come down and you balance. Another row very flat is fine. Make sure that knee is open and your supporting leg is turned out so the front of your pelvis is flat. Waist long. And grow even taller now as you slide that toe past coupe to cross. Lower with straight knees. And finish. Good things are shake it out for a moment. We'll do the other side. Right hand on the bar, first position. Ready to use your left foot. Here we go. Seven, conjure back eight. We go front, side, close. Other half, side, back, close. Full circle, front, side, back. Again, front, side, back. Faster, one, two, Three, four, off the ground, front, side, back. Tall new front, head smile, reversing back, side. Are you using the turn out of both of your legs? Is your pelvis staying still and quiet? Back, side, front, and back, side, front. Faster, one, two, three, four, off the ground, back. Side, front, tondu back, lift your vest. Make sure two hips and two shoulders are square. And your leg is right behind you, connecting your left knee to your right shoulder so you stay straight. Control to the tondu. Brush tondu front, close past, portable front, finding that nice flat back. Standing tall, arms to fifth. Up and back, up and over that corset, not into your waist. Keeping that tailbone down. Arm opens to second as you string. Arm up to fifth, up and side. Standing tall, arm open second. You may rise to susu. Point coupe, point passe. And your balance, either on flat or on releve. Both legs turned out. That alignment belt straight across so you're not lifting your hip. And grow even taller as you slide that toe past coupe to cross. Lower with straight knees. And finish. Good, dancers. Take a moment, breathe. Stretch it out. Um, we'll move on to our coupes. So facing the bar. I'm still going to do it with one hand on the bar so you can see my feet in my mirrors. But we'll be in first position facing the bar. We'll do our tendu side, building momentum to retract coupe front, then back to tendu and close. Again, tendu and coupe wrap, making that snack, tendu and close. Then tendu and coupe back, and then tendu crossing in front to third position, third or fifth. Plie coupe back, so picking up the opposite foot, so then step up to coupe front, 
So it's stepping side to coupe, other foot front, crossing through susu and lower. I'm gonna demonstrate the left foot so you can see. Should be able to see my feet in that mirror. So side and coupe front, tendu close, tendu and coupe wrap, tendu close, tendu and coupe back, tendu close and cross. Switching your weight, plie coupe back, step up to coupe front, step to the side, coupe other foot front, cross susu and lower. And then we'll do it again. So we'll do it right, left, right, left. Um, everyone who's in my level two, level three, or level two and three class should know this combination. So you're good. First position facing the bar. Here we go. There you go. Tendu coupe front. Tendu plus. Tendu coupe wrap. Tendu plus. Tendu coupe back. Tendu crossing third. Plie up. Over susu down left foot. Tendu coupe front. Tendu plus. Tendu coupe wrap. Tendu this, tendu coupe back, tendu cross, plie up, over, go again, right foot, tendu coupe front, tendu cross, tendu coupe wrap, tendu cross, tendu coupe back, tendu cross, plie up, over, CC down, left, one more time. Make sure you're retracting, right? Strong and sharp into that coupe, right away. Plie up, over, CC down. Good, you'll just stretch out your calves for a moment. So we're gonna go right into our releves. Again, facing the bar, or whatever you need to do to make sure you don't fall over. We'll start in sixth. We'll do our eight releves in sixth. We'll turn out to first. We'll do our eight releves in first. Then with our plie. So we start slow. Plie, stretch, and releve, lower. Plie, stretch, and releve, lower. We do that pattern four times. Then we double time it. Our plie and releve, and plie and releve, and we'll do that eight times. Six position facing the bar. If you don't know what that means, do 32 elevates. Here we go. In six. Make sure those center of your ankles are right over your second toes. Seven. Eight, turning out to first one. Right, squeezing those thighs together. Keeping those ankles centered. Nice and anti-cycled. Now we plie, go plie. Stretch. Releve, lower, plie, stretch, releve, lower, plie, stretch, releve, lower, plie, stretch. Now double time we go plie, releve, plie, lower, plie, 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 Good. Stretch out those calves. We'll do one more one. Controlling to lowly, tendu two, close on three. Kick again on four, tendu five, close six. Then a little bit faster, kick seven, four, five, six, seven and eight. And again to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So you're kicking on one, four and seven. Just to confuse you, you'll be okay. Here we go. Left hand on the bar, first or fifth. Ready with the right leg, here we go. Kick eight, one, time to two, close three, kick four, time to five, close six, kick seven and eight to the side, one, time to two, close three, kick four, time to close, kick, time to close to the back, kick, time to close, kick, time to close, kick, time to close, side again, kick, time to close, kick, time to close, kick, Close and cool. Other side, right hand on the bar, ready, left leg. Here we go. Kick in one, time to two, close three, kick four, time to five, six, kick on seven, and eight to the side, kick one, time to close, kick, time to close, kick, time to close to the back, kick. Take a moment, stretch what you need to, get some water, which is what I'm doing. If your bars are movable, 
I suggest moving them out of the way so we can do some things in the center and that might give you a little bit more space. I know it will for me, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. do a little adagio. Um, we're going to work on some tombes like I've done with some of my classes. Um, so see if you can at least find enough space where you can take two big steps forward. Um, I won't make you do more than that, but just see if you can find enough space to take two big steps forward. Um, so we'll do our tombes, which means we'll start with our right foot front in third or fifth and a little quasi. You all see me? There we go. That's better. So We'll plie coupe on one. We'll extend that right foot to tendu front, staying in plie on two. We'll take our giant step forward to tendu back, opening our left hand to fifth and our right hand to second. Three. We'll close all of that on four. We're going to do a devil pace. So we're going to pick our right foot up again, coupe. We're going to extend to a degage front, lower tendu, and close. Then we do our tombe to the side. So let me turn on fast. We lift our right foot, coupe plie, extending tendu side, arm opens to second, take a giant step sideways, and close. And that left foot will come coupe, extend degage side, lower to tendu, and close front again, turning to the quasi. And we'll go the other way, plie coupe one, extend two, stepping forward on three, close four, devil pay five, extend six, Tendu seven, close eight to the side, coupe one, extend two, stepping three, close four, double pay side, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all I'm gonna ask you to do. Hopefully you have enough space to do that. Um, but if you don't quite have enough space to make a giant step forward like I like, at least make sure that it's turned out and that it's strong, yeah? So again, we do one tombe front, and then devil pay front with the same leg. Then one tombe side, devil paying with the second leg. Then we go front with the left, devil pay the left, side with the left, devil pay the right. Um, you can do the tombes in tendu and the devil pays in degage like I just demonstrated. You may also do the tombes in degage and devil pay up to 90 or higher. Um, if that sounds scary or you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, just do what I'm doing. Cool, so start right foot front, third or fifth, in a slight quasi, as far back as you can get in your space. Here we go. So plie and coupe the right foot, extend tendu front, step onto it, and close behind. Then right foot coupe, extend degage front, lower tendu, and close, turning on fast, coupe the right foot, tendu side, stepping onto it, and close front, left foot comes coupe, extend degage side, tendu, closing front, quasi, other foot, plie coupe the left, extend the left front, stepping forward, and close, left foot, coupe, extend, close front, right foot, coupe, Extend, tendu, and close, and finish. Good, dancer, shake it out. Um, let's try that one more time. Yeah, because I know that's a tricky one, and I'm sure we all want a second chance to get that balance. Um, if that felt good and easy, try lifting your legs higher this time. Yeah, let's try again. Right foot in front, quasi. Backing all the way up so you've got space. Here we go. Plie coupe on one. Extend tendu. Stepping forward and close. Right foot again, coupe. Extend front. Control to tendu and close. We go side. Plie coupe. Extend side. 
and step to close. Left foot goes, coupe. Extend, tendu. Close in front, turn quasi. Pied coupe. Extend front, stepping forward and close. Pied coupe. Extend front, tendu. And close on fast, plie coupe. Extend side, stepping side, and close. Right foot coupes. Extend, tendu, and close. And finish. Good dancers. Awesome. Move on. We do a little waltz. <laughs> yes, I know it's tricky. Keep working on it. We'll work on it even more when we get back together. You can watch this video. It'll be up on the Facebook and on YouTube. So you can go back and redo it and practice it lots. I have faith in you. Um, for now, we're gonna move on uh, to some balances, um, which is that waltz step, yeah? So a reminder, balance A, you extend side, you fall stepping sideways, you step back into releve, and then front into releve, extending that foot to the side to go again, down to the side, up to the back, up to the front. So you've got that down, up, up, down, up, up, side, back, front, side, back, front. Your arms are going from one arm in first, one arm in second to switching. The same leg that goes back is the arm that bends into first while you ball change. Then again, as you step this way, as your right foot goes back, your right arm comes into first to then ball change. So we're gonna do four of those, right, left, right, left. Yeah. So bow, lin, say, bow, lin, say, bow, lin, say, bow, lin, say. And instead of stepping into a fifth balance, say, you're gonna extend that right foot in front of you toward the corner. You're gonna peek at your arabesque, either on the flat or to releve. Right? And remember, PK means you step from a straight leg, I'm sorry, from a plie, a nice bent leg, onto a straight leg, to your hips, to shoulders, arabesque, plie in arabesque. You're going to pull your arabesque leg into susu. That's your step back for the pas de You pick up that coupe. So there's your back, side, front. You do the whole thing to the other side. So we go left, back, front, right, back, front. Left, back, front, right, back, front, extending the left foot this time. Pique arabesque onto the left foot. Plie, pulling this foot as if you were just doing this. So then go pas de bourree. So if you're just gonna go right away into coupe, coupe. And close. Cool. We'll do it four times. So we'll go right, left, right, left. Yeah, here we go. Standing tall. Seven, eight, we go side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, extend the right, step onto the right, plie, pull it into pop, de foray, left, right, left, right, extend the left, Step arabesque, plie, pull it into pas de bourre, go again, right, left, right, left, extend right, step arabesque, plie, pull it into pas de bourre, one more set, right, left, right, plie, step arabesque, plie, Good, breathe. Breathe, breathe. I know that's a tricky one as well. Take a moment, get some water before we start jumping. And again, I know that was another tricky one. That's another good one to go back and watch the video again on another day and keep practicing. Um, for now, we're gonna saute. We're gonna start in first. Um, again, if you have class with me, you'll know this. 
pattern. We'll do plie, jump, and plie, stretch, plie, jump, and plie, stretch, plie, and jump, and jump, and jump, and plie, stretch. Time to do the second. And same thing in second. Plie, jump, and plie, stretch, plie, jump, and plie, stretch, plie, and jump, and jump, and jump, and plie, stretch. Time to do the cross in the third or fifth. Plie, finding Susu in the air, right? So you got to tuck those toes together and then open them again so you don't step on your own feet when you come back down. Plie, jump and plie, stretch. Plie, jump and plie, stretch. Plie, four continuous. Tendu cross to the other third or fifth. So two sautés with a stretch in between. And then four sautés continuously. And then a nice bigger plie stretch and tendu change position. So do the stretch and four continuous using your nice squishy plie, finding actual recognizable positions on the ground, right? Using your heel ball toe on the way up and toe ball heel on the way back down. Yeah, we'll do the pattern in first, in second, in third or fifth with the right foot in front, and then in third or fifth with the left foot in front. Cool? All right, here we go. First position. Tall and strong, ready to squish those plies and point those toes. Here we go. Plie, jump, plie, stretch. Plie, jump. Plie, stretch, plie, and jump, and jump, and jump, and plie, stretch. Tendu, second, jump. And again with the stretch, four continuous. And plie, stretch, tendu, two, cross. Plie, find it, susu. Pointing those toes. Don't step on your own feet, but get your heels down. Other cross. We're gonna take that same pattern. And we're gonna travel our sautés. Again, my classes know this. Um, so instead of saying, we'll just be in first or fifth the whole time, but I'm gonna do it from first. Um, I'm gonna go forward for one whole set, then backward for one whole set, then turning over the right shoulder for one whole set, turning over the left shoulder for one whole set. Um, you might not have enough space to do all of that forward and all of that backward. If you do, that's great, do that. I'm gonna break it down so you kind of go forward and backward. So um, we take our first jump with the stretch moving forward. So plie forward, plie stretch. And then take the second one backward. Plie back, plie stretch. Then one of our four continuous, we'll take two forward and two backward. So we'll plie and forward and forward and backward and backward. And then during the break, we'll scooch forward to then reverse that pattern. So plie back, plie stretch, plie front, Plie, stretch, plie, and back, and back, and front, and front. And then find a centered location so you do not hit anything. We will turn over our right shoulder. Yeah, the ones with the stretch are a half turn. So we go plie, half turn, plie, stretch. Plie, half turn, plie, stretch. The four quicker quarters. Plie, quarter, and quarter, and quarter, and quarter. And breathe. Then we go the other way. Plie, half turn, plie, stretch. Plie, half turn, plie, stretch. Plie, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, and breathe. Cool. So if you have space to do the whole first set forward and the whole second set back, that's great. Otherwise, we'll do kind of forward and back and forward and back, and then back and forward and back and forward. Then we'll go to the right and then we'll go to the left. So either first or fifth, give yourself space to move forward and backward. Here we go. I'm gonna turn my back to you again so you can tell which way I'm going forward or backward. Here we go. Plie forward, now backward, now two forward, two backward, and scooch forward if you need to. Plie backward, plie forward, plie back and back and front and front. And be centered, turning to the right, half turn. To the right, half turn, and then quarter turns. Quarter, 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 quarter. To the left. Half turn. Quarter turns. Awesome. Breathe. Stretch out your calves. Get some water. That one's exhausting. Awesome dancers. Whew. We'll do one more thing. I'm gonna work on some glissades. 
Yeah, so again, get as much space as you can. This time in a sideways direction, because we'll do our glee sides to the side. Um, but again, since we don't necessarily have the space to go all the way across the floor and all the way back, what we're gonna do is two glee sides in one direction, and then two glee sides in the other. And we'll kind of bounce back and forth like that a couple of times. Um, but to break that down, yeah, fifth or third, let's start with the right foot in front. We're gonna take four counts for each of our glee sides to start in plie. Make sense, tendu side, one, two. So we're from a plie to straight leg. We go up and over, finding plie and straight leg, and then close, and then again. Two counts out, switch, and close. Now we go the other way. One, two, switch, three, close, four, five, six, seven, close, eight. Then we go right again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get into the left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's nice and slow. Work as much as you can on articulating those feet and staying in a nice squishy plie. Your quads should burn. My quads will burn. Here you go. Third or fifth position, right foot front. Standing tall and strong, here we go. Two counts out, two switch and close. Two counts out, two switch, now the other way. Two counts out, switch and close. Two counts out, switch again to the right. Switch, close, two counts out, switch, left. Two counts out, switch and close. Two counts out, let's go one more time. Two counts out, switch and close. Two counts out, switch to the left again. Two counts out, switch and close. Two counts out, switch, close. Good, users. Good, we'll do that one more time, but we'll double time it. So instead of one, two, three, four, we'll go one and two. So kind of brushing into that jump right away and then pleeing and pulling that toe in on two. So brush jump one, land and brush in two. One and two, three and four, and then to the left and two, three and four, to the right and two. Here we go, use your brush and your plie as much as you can. And jump and close, jump now left, jump and close, jump now right, jump and close, jump to left, jump and close, jump one more time, right, right, left, left, I lied one more time, jump, to the right, and left, and left, awesome dancers, good, breathe for a second, and we'll do our wrap around. So first position, two hands down. I will face you this time. Deep breaths, here we go. Stepping to the right, right, and curtsy, tendu, close. Other way, step, and curtsy, tendu, and close. Awesome, thank you dancers. Um, there were definitely some things I left out of class, partly for time and partly for space. If you do have time and space, you can definitely work on some of those things on your own. I left out a lot of turns, so we didn't, so but you can definitely work on chaise, on suit knee turns, on pirouettes on your own. Um, and of course I left out some of those bigger jumps. So our chasses, our skips, our leaps, all that good stuff. Definitely things though that you can practice on your own if you've got the time and space. Um, I love you guys, I miss you guys. It was so much fun dancing with you today. As much as it's not really with you, I still feel like I'm with you. Um, but I miss you and I hope to see you again soon. Um, please let me know in the comments here or however you can get in touch with me. Um, other things you wanna work on, other things you wanna see, how this setup worked. I can move my mirrors around. If it didn't work for you, please let me know. Um, Cause I do wanna make sure that this works best for you guys because I love you all and I miss you all. Um, stay safe, keep dancing. I will see you soon. I love you. Goodbye. All right, goodbye YouTube.